All right, hello everyone, Rob here with Scrappy-Doo, and this video tutorial is just going to be a quick little tip if you guys are into Facebook, if you're into the file section of Facebook groups uh, that share a lot of their SVG creations so that you guys can use them. Uh, you, you may want to check this out because it's, one, it's a free program, uh, but you must have Chrome in order for this to sort of work for you. And what's what the beauty of this extension what it will do for you uh, will save you a lot of time. Okay, so say you belong to, you know, a group right here. So we got Let's Learn Cricket Explore, and it has, you know, a lot of these SVGs. I mean, you, you also see you have some JPEGs, but we're, we're, what we're interested in is the SVGs. We want to download them, and typically to do this by yourself uh, without an extension, you just have to go to each one and click the download. I mean, there's really not even a great way to actually see what these files look like. So I'm going to show you how you can use two free things. Uh, one's a Google extension uh, called Download Master. And it's free. I'll put a link down there in the description box. And the other one is the free version or the trial version of the SVG Viewer. Okay, so we're, we're going to show you how you can not only download all these with a click of a button, and we're going to show you how you can look at it all on one page because SVG Viewer will display them for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The uh, the Download Master, once you once you install it in your Google Chrome browser, uh, it will look like two arrows pointing down. So that's what we'll click. And it, you'll, you'll notice that this dialog box pops up. Okay, so what, what this basically did is it searched the entire page and it was looking for the various extensions that are actually on the page inside the web code, if you'd say. So uh, the main thing that we're interested in is SVG. So I'm going to click SVGs. It's automatically going to filter those for me and automatically check mark them. Now you'll, you'll notice that there are a lot of these check marks here. So uh, keep in mind that when you hit the download button, uh, all these will start trying to download simultaneously. And when you do this uh, for the first time in Google Chrome, it's going to give you a little warning saying, hey, this program is trying to access uh, multiple downloads. Would you like, would, would you allow this? And all you got to do is click yes, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to start downloading these puppies, as you'll, as you'll see once I click the download button. Uh, something that you may want to set up beforehand is uh, under the actual Chrome settings itself, you may want to change the download uh, location. You know, so create a new folder just for this. Uh, change your download settings so that it will go into the prescribed folder. So that's what I've done already. I'm just going to hit the download button, and r right away you'll you'll start seeing all these uh, arrows. Just it's just going to be downloading them right into the uh, the folder. Okay, so I'll, I'll pull that up here, and you, you can see that the folder over here is just just going crazy with all the downloads right here. So all right, so it looks like it's finally uh, finished all downloading. Like I said, it, it may take some time, but uh, it should go pretty fast. Now, if you're a native Mac user, um, you know, you can always, you know, you can actually see uh, see the images, you know, natively. But for you Windows users, uh, it may it may be more, uh, you know, it may be easier for you to use the program called uh, SVG Viewer. And I'm going to show you what you have to do for that. So let me get uh, SVG Viewer up right here. And uh, all you have to do is drop and drag the folder. Okay, so I'm going to go go uh, up one level. And I'm going to find that SVG group folder that I just was in. And I'm just going to drag it over here. Okay, so right now it's uh, it's going through that entire folder of all the SVGs that it could find. Okay, so I'm in trial mode right now, so it's only going to let me view the top six. But if you were an actual, um, you know, if you have a, a legitimate copy of SVG Viewer, you'd be able to view all these without uh, out any problem. But uh, we're trying to do this on the cheap, so we're just going to stick with the trial edition. Go with the shareable HTML. We're going to click that button, and I'm going to go ahead and change the text here and um, you know SVG uh, files and just give it the generic title of that. I'm going to hit export HTML and this little warning here will pop up let you know hey it may take a little bit of time but it will get through it. I'm going to hit the OK button and I'm going to save this you know 
just so it's my reference, I'm going to go back to the SVG group folder, and I'm just going to name this Facebook SVG. So I'm going to hit uh, Save. So right now it's uh, creating the file. It's already done. I'm going to hit Yes. I'd like to view that file on where it's at. And all I have to do is bring this into uh, Google Chrome. And it will give me a nice representation of all the files that are currently uh, in that group. And if, if you wish, all you have to do is I mean, you find an SVG that you'd like. And all you have to do is right-click it and save image as uh, or the alternative would be to memorize or you know like hey that's the bear with flower SVG let me go back into the download folder and find bear with flower SVG now if you do have the the paid full version of, uh, of SVG viewer uh, you know if that's the bear that you want all you have to do is click uh, view SVG and folder and automatically finds it for you so uh, you, you have several several ways here to get to the SVGs that you want. Uh, you know, so if you're uh, if you're trying to get this all done on the on the fly and you like the nice presentation that SVG Viewer gives you, all you need is the trial. And if you are not, if you if you're looking to use more aspects of the SVG Viewer, you can go ahead and purchase it. So that way you can actually go use this and uh, find the files that you need right in here. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll post all the links down below so that you guys can take advantage of the free programs that are out there for you to use. Thanks for watching.